Hello once again from Kea, Greece. It's time to go across and work on my house. It's been a while and I'll explain why there's been a delay a little bit later in the video. I'm sailing into Labrio port and you can see on the hill where my village is. It's great to be back, but before we can get started on the roof, I need to return some building materials. So this was 750 kilos. I won't be needing any gym membership while this project is still on. Let's take a moment to look at the plans again. This building was built in 1910 by a French mining company that was working in the area. It's on three different levels, each level about three steps above the other, and we will be changing the roof line. We'll be lowering the roof in the middle section and raising it in the back upper section. The actual interior height of the ceilings will be exactly the same, but the crawl space that used to exist will be removed. And as you can see, there was no insulation or anything in this roof. If you've been following this house renovation since the first video, you'll notice some of the brickwork in this one that was plastered in previous videos. I've taken a bit of liberty on the chronology of my storytelling, but the results are the same. Marcos is boring holes in the stone walls to insert the steel beams into. I spent a lot of time thinking about different ceiling styles and settled on an industrial look that I can hang things from. This might surprise you. During the two years that I've been working with Marcos, I have rarely seen him without a cigarette in his mouth. Once the beams are in place, they make a great scaffolding to work on the upper part of the house. You can see how many different materials are inside the wall structure. It's a hundred years old, so every single person that's worked on the house has added something different. The roof I'm removing here was sagging really badly in the center and had extensive rat damage. Like everything else on this house, the bones were good, but the renovations that had been executed over the last 110 years were pretty shoddy. There's the port of Lavrio below and Kea Island behind Macroniso Island in the distance. In the beginning it took some time for the workers to get used to working with a woman, but they soon realized I wasn't afraid of hard work. This part of the roof is going to be very similar to the original one, but with much larger and more solid wood. That water heater in the back, you're gonna hear more about in a bit. I put myself in charge of painting on this entire project. And here I'm priming the wood for termites and other wood eaters, as well as mildew. This is a wood paneled roof above my office, which has a waterproof membrane, and then we are putting five centimeter insulation between these sticks. We'll be reusing the roof tiles, which were practically new. Apparently this part of the roof burned down about 10 years ago. 
but it was so poorly rebuilt, the only thing we could salvage were the roof tiles. I've had a problem with termites in the past, so I'm making sure that all the wood is treated really, really well this time. The ends of beams that get built into the stone walls are treated with tar for waterproofing. I was just getting ready to quit work that day when a balloon floated in on its own accord. I might have wrinkles and gray hair, but I'm a 10 year old at heart. The steel beams are so much heavier than the welders are making it look. I can barely shift one on the ground. Each hull has rebar and cement before the steel beams are placed inside for maximum strength. Every now and then, I have to come in here to this finished room. Give myself some encouragement. Right. It isn't finished at all, but it looks better than the other ones do. I want the finished house to have an industrial look about it. So these beams and the joints between the beams will all be exposed. I realize the ceiling is unorthodox, but I love it. And I think when it's all painted out the same color, it's gonna be spectacular. It's the first time I've been here since November. And uh, I needed to do a bit of weeding, as you can see. But I'm really pleased by the way the flower bed in the front has grown. These kumquat trees were here. But I planted all the lavender. And as you can see, I'm weeding today. And let's go inside and I'll show you what's going on. Ah, welcome to my mess. I had to stop work for a few months and we just kind of left it as it was, but we're ready to get started again just after Easter. It's so nice to be here after not having seen it for so long. still in a bit of a mess up here and there's absolutely no roof here. Here, a couple steps up. So, once again, here we are roofless. But, we're close. Everything's ready. I know it looks like a disaster, but actually, it's very manageable.
Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think of my industrial ceiling. My neighbor and I have a dispute over her water heater on my roof, which is the reason we had to stop work for a few months. But I'll be back soon to get that last roof on and get a new video made. But for now, Dickie Doo and I are going back to Kea to take care of business. I really hope you enjoy following my renovation journey and please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thank you.